Back in 1928, the Myers Jubilee Singers sang a spiritual song explaining the connections within the human body. Your toe bone's connected to your foot bone, your foot bone's connected to your heel bone, your heel bone's connected to your ankle bone, and so on. Leg bone, back bone, shoulder bone, neck bone. Amplifying that internal link, your teeth have many connections as well to your organs, glands, parts of the spine, joints, and even your central nervous system. And strangely enough, this affects your ability to remember stuff. If your front teeth are knocked out in a boxing match, there's no immediate worry. You're not going to forget your best friend's name in the morning. Deterioration will take place. It's very slow, but there will be deterioration. I've had an aunt and uncle who passed away in care homes, not recognising the person they'd married and spent their adult lives with. You don't want that challenge as, as you or any other family member gets older. Remember this, the more teeth you have, the more chance you have of remembering where your car keys are, where you put your glasses, even while you walked into a room. Of course it helps if your teeth and gums are healthy, but I'm not trying to sound like your parents. Why do I tell you this? Japanese researchers have shown that when a tooth is extracted, the nerve that stretches from the tooth to the brain is severed. Memory loss doesn't happen when a tooth falls out of its own accord. Only when a tooth is lost through a form of trauma, car accident, uh, dental removal, even that boxing match. So I've put a link to an interactive tooth chart below. Use it to see for yourself the connections between any teeth you've had removed and those organs, glands, parts of the spine, joint, central nervous system I mentioned earlier. The detrimental impact is not just to the gum socket where the tooth used to be, but also to regions of the brain and other important areas of the body. The bad news? It's cumulative. Memory problems increase for every tooth pulled. While dental procedures contribute to the memory problems associated with ageing, don't lose sight of the damage of mercury or amalgam fillings. They're still being offered in certain countries and they're still in people's teeth. These fillings are located only a few inches from the brain and mercury vapour seeps out of those teeth into the brain. Are you surprised that cognitive decline or even full-blown Alzheimer's now affects people in their 40s? Most people don't understand the extent of the damage when they lose a tooth until years, even decades later. Even then, they rarely link the two. My message is simple. Keep your teeth in your mouth for as long as you can. If your dentist recommends tooth removal, ask why. Ask how necessary it is or get a second opinion. What's the most effective way to keep your teeth clean and your gums healthy? Not as you may think by brushing, flossing and gargling with mouthwash. That's what gets you repeat visits to the dentist chair in the first place. There's something much better that your dentist probably doesn't know about and certainly won't recommend to you. They're called blotting brushes. They're, they've been used since the 1960s they're as popular as ever, and this is important, you don't need any toothpaste. Blotting is a completely different way of cleaning your teeth and gums than you've ever come across before. But once you've done it and you've felt the tangible difference, you'll wonder why on earth you weren't told about it before. The brushes have been described as the brushes that put all other toothbrushes to shame. I've used mine since 2001. I don't use toothpaste, I don't floss, apart from oil pulling and occasionally rinsing my mouth with water and a few drops of iodine, I don't need anything else. Every year I make an appointment with my dentist and I get a clean bill of health. No plaque, no fillings, no dental work to do, and she's so impressed she charges me half price. You're more than welcome to try them for yourself, get the same result. I'm Graham Dinan at Tooth Wizards. Thanks for listening.